Hey, what's up, Bub Guy? I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Podcast also below in the description. Subscribe to that as well. Get it on now. Do it. Reacting to Sunday Night Football, John. Real nail biter. Uh, was boring for a while, going to be honest. Stayed locked in because I'm a professional, just like you. But, um, you know, Niners, it was one of those where they looked like they were the better football team, but they clearly didn't have the best playmaker on the field. A bunch of penalties, it felt like. I don't know what the final box was. Was not impressive. We'll get to the quarterback thing. They need Jimmy back. Bethard comes into this game. I mean, it was really a messy. Did you feel like that way to you, a messy game? Yeah, seven eight at halftime, right? And just felt kind of blah. Mullins threw a bad pick right before half. Uh, but he wasn't I, done. I, I, think it, I, I think it no fuck he wasn't. I, I I think it played out a lot like we had assumed. Like this is not gonna look like the last two weeks. This team just has clearly more impact players. Wentz, I mean, was the number two overall pick and really just a elite talent in the league. They, they have Brandon Graham, when I first got hired with the Eagles, was our number one overall pick. I think he picked him like 11 to play with Fletcher Cox and uh, the dude they drafted a couple years ago from Tennessee, Barnett. Like, they have pass rushers, right? Now, and Darius Slay's a good player. Miles Sanders is a second-round pick. Their receivers, I don't even know who they are. But I just thought it was two teams that are kind of undermanned. The Eagles probably a little more than the Niners, I think it's fair to say, right? With Kittle and Debo and Ayuk back, it kind of felt a little more normal. But, like, I watched – like, listen, I have a respect for Jarek McKinnon. He battled back from those ACLs, and he's still a solid player, but his nickname's Jet. When you watch him play, do you think, like, that's Jet? <laughs> no, but I do hard. think he's that not, guy's good. Fast. I do think he's good. No, I do, too. I, I do, too. But he's – he is – Mozart is better. You know, I think dramatically when it comes to just speed, like th there's a speed element they miss. And like you just could feel it like the Niners couldn't take away. And I think a huge part of the elephant in the room here is the quarterback play was just kind of all over the map. And same with Wentz. Like I, Wentz was kind of struggling. He had some throws where he was just like, geez, Louise, Carson. Yeah. There was one pass that like Carson, it, the guy was wide open, like a little running back coming across was, the ball. And I, I know. Carson threw a fastball. It's like, Jesus Christ. He threw one Phillip Rivers ball. You know, we were doing a little pregame preview, and Phillip throws one ball a game. You're like, that, that was not even close. And Wentz threw one like that. I mean, so what would it end up being for them? 18 offensive points for Philly? Which if you told me coming into the game, Philly would have 18 offensive points, not counting the pick six. I would have taken it. Uh, it it also is somewhat, you know, the Niners secondary. Like, uh, not that he's at, not that he's done anything, but JJ Ortega Whiteside was out, Aguilar's out, Deshaun's out. Um, di I guess what Aguilar's I'm getting at it. The Raiders. Sorry, not Nelson Aguilar. Uh, what's his name from the Bears? Al Alshon. Alshon. I was thinking of Aguilar because uh, Michael Fulham. Football FC or whatever the name of the guy that caught that game-winning touchdown is. Where's thirteen? Have you ever heard of that guy? No, he went to Old Dominion, John. I've never, I never heard of the guy. But I guess what I'm getting at is, is this a game they should have won? And I think it's easy to say no. It's understandable to say no. But I mean, Mullins made mistakes that he had he has not made in the first two weeks uh, that he's played. The two interceptions but, but, both were awful. But we've been talking about this for years. If I tell you you get two games with your backup quarterback, any team in the league, two games with your backup quarterback, this includes yeah. – is Foles a backup quarterback now? Technically, he's a starter. But, like, you got to play two games with your backup quarterback. A true backup. Who you know yeah. the starter's going to come back. Yeah, Foles now going to be a starter forever. A guy that's – when he comes back, goes to the bench. I think you expect to win one out of two of them. And I think Niner fans and just people in social media got in general, like, got this weird false sense of who Mullins was and just – what the expectations should be, like the credit should go to Kyle for and early in the game, Kyle's scheming fucking use check wide open. He would have walked to a, at least like the other 40. He he would have gone 40 yards, right? He would have got tackled, but it would have been a massive gain. And to me, they just never had any really rhythm on offense beside they get some plays on well, like the basic second drive. screen passes. Was that the second drive? The touchdown drive? The first drive, they went three and out. Yeah. The drive that was Kittle, Kittle, 
Debo Kittle, maybe McKinnon, Ayuk touchdown. Yeah. I mean, that was a rhythm drive, right? That was the one real. Well, like, wouldn't you? Wow. Wouldn't you agree with those three guys back? And we had been talking about this leading up. I'm fascinated to see what it looked like. And you know what's pretty clear? Kittle's a superstar, and those two wide receivers are ballers. Like that's what you need. And now it's like comes on twofold. The quarterback who I, was shitty, but also was really shitty, was the offensive line. Now those are big time defensive linemen. Fletcher Cox. I, I mean, Graham. he's gonna have a Hall of Fame argument. Brandon Graham's a really good player. They worked him, guy. I mean, I some a little reminiscent of the Seattle game uh, last year at home when just clown who's kicking, just guys in the backfield, guys getting shoved back. It False was, start by Trent Williams to start that last drive. He right? he was he wasn't that good. That I he had some bad false starts. He got gave up the sack on uh, to Barnett. It was a first round pick, but I just thought Trent looked just given his standard. Is kind Josh of Sweat good tonight? Uh, I mean, he's just. A freak athlete. I don't think he's, you know, some impact player right now. But, like, I I look at the defense and when I thought Robert Solid, those guys were just ready. Like, everyone's like, Dante Johnson. Yeah, Dante Johnson's like their seventh corner. He's going to give up some plays. But if you just give me that Almost effort from a defense every week, can you complain about I thought, that effort? I saw you tweet this. I, I saw a couple of people tweet. Uh, I thought they were – I didn't see a team that, like, wasn't ready to play. Um, I thought they were ready to play. I thought, to your point, I feel like we always look to your defense for that and offensive execution. There were a bunch of weird, a bunch of weird things happen, but I'm with you. I think their defense consistently flies around. I think their defense is consistently ready to play. They just, K1 Williams gets hurt at the end of the third quarter, comes back in the fourth, gets hurt again. Um, like to me, the Rams uh, today. Were I mean, is Jason Fred their best corner? Come, is Jason Fred their best corner today, Sunday? Oh yeah, yes. You know, so I mean, most talented guy. Well, K K1 Williams, who is like fighting yeah. a hip, a knee, an ankle. I mean, every play the guy goes down. I, that guy's a little war daddy. Uh, but uh, back him. to what you said about ready to play, I, I'm telling you, like the the Rams won today. But anyone that watched that game knows they were sleep. Like that's not ready to play. Now they were playing a shitty opponent, so they get a win. To me, the Niners showed up ready to play, especially their core guys. And when you play a team that has some talent, if if you don't execute, which the quarterback didn't, which you know on the one final drive, the the DB just gets smoked down the corner by a dude that no one's. I would imagine ninety nine point nine percent of people that are listening to this podcast or that watch this in the Bay Area have never heard of that kid. And that's to me, if if that had been Deshaun or Alshon. Or even like if Nelson Aguilar, like a guy, I think you could live with it. If Appreciate to me, you when you get Nelson beat, back. But when you just get beat by a guy that like, who? It's like today Kittle's kicking their ass. Like, I, I'm sorry, Eagle fans. Like what? He's fucking best, one of the best players in the league. Like there's nothing you can do to stop him. I can live with Kittle kicking my ass. I can't live with Fugelholm beating me. You know, I Fulgham. just... Fulgham. Do you think and, he, he better Robert be? Sala he better be. To, he better be ODU's leading receiver of all what's time. What's Robert Sala supposed to do? Like, let's double team Fulgham. Like, I, I don't blame him, but my well, God, they, they took Ertz away. What'd he do? Four, Four catches, nine. nine yards. Yeah, Goddard was out too. I mean, they were like, I think the easy play to forget, and we can talk more about this when we get to Wentz later. But the play before the touchdown, or was it two plays before, where Wentz. Looks like he's going to get sacked. Looks like he's going to run out of bounds. Throw this crazy ball back across. It's going to set up like a third and five. Instead, there's a double penalty. The Eagles take the first down. I tweet, how many yards do the Eagles give up? And a second later, he throws a touchdown, and I delete the tweet because it was pointless at that point. Like, you you got beat in large part, I think. A big part of losing was Carson Wentz. You didn't have your starting quarterback. They had Carson Wentz. Now, we'll get to Jimmy. If Jimmy can come back, I think there is some – I think there should be some optimism because, like you said, Kittle, Ayuk, Debo is everything – clearly it's what Kyle imagined it to be, what he wants it to be, right? He can evaluate wide receivers. We agree with that. I mean, holy smokes. <laughs> and Kittle, like – Kittle Kittle was playing like this was his last game of his career or something. Oh They're like, God. Kittle, you'll never be able to play football again. Guy, he had what was what was Kittle's line? Fifteen targets, fifteen <laughs> catches, one eighty-three and a touchdown. Kittle's like, yeah, I've missed the last two games. I got to make up my stats. We he might, was a mother. We might look at his stats in the, the year, and he hasn't lost anything. 
He felt yeah, like you. Uh, he felt to me like they would just like Shaq in the post. But if you well, he he played a night where if I was a ten year old kid, I think I'd walk. I guess you don't go to school tomorrow. I'd zoom and tell my friends he's my favorite player of all time. Like I, I'd want my parents to order me everything George Kittle. I'd want hats. I'd want T-shirts. I'd be, I'd be making a Twitter account tweeting at him. I'd fucking love that guy. As just a fan of sports, your, your email would I, just I mean, be just, like Kittle fan yeah, 88, I mean, 888888. Just as a, as a lover of the sport of football, he is an enjoyable player to consume, right? Just, yeah. I mean, every time he's pivoting, he's he's using the hand to wipe out a helmet. He he was on a mission tonight. 15, 183, I didn't I didn't realize it was that. I would have guessed before I looked at the box score, I would have guessed probably 13, like 130 in that touchdown. It didn't feel like 183, did it? I guess maybe those last couple that last drive, he probably got a couple catches. Yeah, on. I guess we don't give him a target on the Hail Mary. Um but I thought he was going to catch that. I know you did. I, Debo almost had it too. That Hail Mary almost Do you give worked. a target on the Hail Mary? Or I you don't just, think so. No, no. I don't think so. Um, but the thing one thing worked. is, guy, that, How about, I mean, now part, part of the losing to a, a max quarterback who had been playing really shitty, his numbers, I mean, I, I didn't think he was I wouldn't great call today. pedestrian. I mean, he was 18 and 28 for basically 200 yards, a touchdown, and, a, and that pick was pretty bad. No, he wasn't great, but he just It's not like he was few, kicking your ass. But he was, your, he was their answer for Kittle, right? Yeah. And he happens he made to be the, play the quarterback. That Sam Darnold or Daniel Jones could not make, right? He was a, I mean, he's just a completely different animal. He, made, he makes guys. plays that most guys don't make. He's tough to sack. His problem right? is consistency, not that he doesn't have flash plays. And today, you know, on a, on a normal day, you don't throw two picks and get a fumble from your quarterback. I mean, Mullins had three turnovers. You know the problem for the Niners? is there's not more like Phillip Rivers in the league. Because they're in the backfield all the time. Just They just play these guys that can run away. Well, like, I did. That, that, that yeah. is their advantage over Jared Goff is you are sitting – like their their pressure is fantastic. It's just when you play mobile, Kyler's, Carson's, even like Daniel Jones, those guys are functional running. Uh, Josh Allen, when they play him in the future, Cam Newton, like that – it's just – there's the, the great answer for a great pass rush is just a quarterback that can fucking move around. Because how many often was like Eric Armstead? How many times does he look at a quarterback and go, "That guy's a better athlete than me"? And the guy and he's making incredible plays and Carson's taking off. Even Hyder, I was like, "God, Hyder's all over the place and can't catch him." I did think Carson missed, did scramble out of a lot of sacks. They missed both it today. I mean, obviously, right? I'm not breaking news here, but to me, what, they had their backup left tackle they, and Lane Johnson's in and out. They still had three sacks, but they it felt to me like they missed just like that the guy that can run with Carson, that can chase him down. Right. He just How many sacks would Bosa have had tonight? Probably two. I, I think two. I think a Bosa Buckner D line has six sacks today. But that Buckner's on another team and Bosa's hurt. So that's the reality. Yeah. It's stupid to do this, but just for fun, the two thousand nineteen defensive line healthy, or just just adding those those guys would have destroyed him tonight, right? Because neither offensive line, because look at the look at the Eagles, like they do have premium defensive linemen, and they were kicking the Niners' ass. Yeah. And Mullins can't run around like Wentz, no. right? Mullen, and sex. and Mullins, Mullins freaks, freaks when there's some pressure. Freaks. Carson, say one thing for Carson, even when he's off, he is kind of like as he's moving, like, hey, guys, I've been playing this league. I, I'm not freaking out. Right. Now the ball that doesn't always go where it should, but he he does look under control when he's moving. He is a he he's really got, is a specimen. He he's had more problems when he just hangs in the pocket than when he's on the move. Yeah, if I was him, I'd fucking move him all the time. I, I were you a little shocked at the end of the game when they ultimately punted back to the Niners that they just ran it with him and just basically conceded? It did look like that was a design, just run and try and run some clock. Hit out, the ground. It? Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. That was Do you weird. think that uh, the clock operator one second? Did you quite understand that one? Well, I saw people tweeting like two o two. You got to get this kick onside kick before the two minute warning, and I'm thinking that's impossible. What are you talking about? And then they have Robbie Gold do the line drive drop kick to the guy, and he bobbles it. Home field advantage, John. That's the only way to get it in 2020 NFL. I guess I don't. I didn't quite. It was the time. The clock. That thing is egregious. Listen, I, I'm. 
I, how, I wanted the Niners to win, how, but that, the, that's like, how does anyone take that seriously? How about and the umpire going down? That was a break. That was pretty funny. That, but that was a break. It was a huge break. But did they did they restart the clock though? Right. The when clock they, when was running. Like the Niners were going to spike the ball like thirty one or twenty nine seconds. They put thirty. They got a couple th- seconds. Yeah. Yeah. They put and they didn't and they didn't burn it down. That's the, what I'm saying. They, so did they did they start the clock though? Well, the thir- when he goes to go to thirty four, did he start the clock on his signal? I think so. I think they have to on that situation, but. Um, it didn't feel like they did. They but they got the snap off really quick. Not talking shit about the umpire, but when I saw him down, I'm like, God, did he just tear his Achilles? And then I saw the hit. I was like, he didn't really get hit that hard. I feel like maybe he got cleated or something. I don't know. Yeah. It clearly he looked like he was in pain. Now, then it's like, yeah, have Brandon Graham, two hundred and seventy pounds, just like kick, stroll kick into your you ankle. In pads and cleats. See so, how you feel, John. I mean, look, two and two. Uh tell, tell me if Garoppolo's coming back and I'll tell you how I feel. If he's coming back, you go. The fact that the the Kittle return was huge. And then if Sherman could be back next week, right? I think clearly you need him. Yeah. But I I do feel like defensively from a pass rush linebacker safety standpoint, they're they're fine. It's not they don't have Bosa, but they can get by with all this other stuff. Those guys, you you've been you said it before the year. Watch out for my man Kerry Hyder. <laughs> As a beast. So yeah, to to me they they have a more. I, listen, we had no lives. We watched football all day, and there was a lot of shitty football on today. Their defense is good enough to win, make the playoffs. Relative to, it's not as good as last year. Relative to the rest of the NFL, it's fine. It's going to come down to, like what I've been saying about Carson Wentz. You can't fucking turn the ball over. I mean, it's just that simple. You can't throw picks. You can't do that. Well, like, do they win the me, game if picks, Mullins doesn't throw up two interceptions today, Sunday night? Say that again. Do they win the game if Mullins doesn't throw two interceptions? One hundred percent. He costs but he's their them. Quarterback. The, uh, that's yeah. where the that's that's where the Jimmy injury is just a killer. Yeah. 